This is the solution to uh, number 18 on page 493, so 494 in the textbook as we move one page back. Um, and uh, so if we take a look at the question, it says an equilateral triangle has an altitude that measures 26 meters. Find the area of the triangle to the nearest square meter. So when we see to the nearest square meter, we are going to be rounding, so we're going to plug into our calculator. Um, but when we round, we always want to wait till the very last step. So we're going to do all of our math um, uh, as accurately as possible. Um, so equilateral triangle. So we have an equilateral triangle. Okay, not drawn to scale. Um, and it says that there's an altitude of 26 meters. And so an altitude goes from a vertex and meets the opposite side at 90 degrees. Um, and so uh, this is 26 meters. Um, and what happens when we draw an altitude of an equilateral triangle is we cut that equilateral triangle in half. Um, and this is going to get us that 30, 60 special right triangle. Um, uh, for one half on each side. And so if you think about finding the area, the area of a triangle is equal to one half base times height. So this side right here would be our base and this right here is going to be our height. So the altitude is the height because an altitude is always perpendicular to a side, which is a base. And so um, when we go ahead and find this, we really need to find this uh, short side of the 30, 60, uh, 90 triangle, um, and then multiply by two for the whole base. Uh, and so uh, when we look at the, if, if we consider this to be x, um, and this would be 2x, uh, if we think about the ratio for a 30, 60, 90, we have the short leg, which would be x, and then the long leg is x times the square root of three, and then the hypotenuse is 2x. And so uh, this is what we're given, the long leg. We know it's the long leg because it's opposite the 60 degrees. Um, the short leg is opposite the 30 because opposite the smallest angle is the shortest side, opposite the middle angle is the middle side, and opposite the largest angle is the largest side. And so um, 26 is equal to the long leg. So we have x times the square root of 3 is equal to 26. And so I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by the square root of 3 because I'm looking for x. Square root of 3 over square root of 3 is equal to 1. 1 times x is equal to x. So we get that x is equal to 26 over the square root of 3. Now, um, we want to uh, rationalize that denominator. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply by the number inside of the, the radical on the bottom. So it's going to be square root of 3 over square root of 3. When I do that, square root of 3 over square root of 3 is equal to the number 1. So I am not changing the value. I am only changing the look. And so we multiply across the top, and we have 26 square root of 3. And multiply across the bottom, we have square root of 3 times square root of 3. That equals the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3. Now, this fraction can't be simplified. right? Uh, 3 does not go into 26. So those are the two values outside of the radical. They're connected by a level 3 operation division. Um, so 3 doesn't go into 26, so we've simplified as much as we can. Now, um, this is x. That is only half of the base. Um, but if you take a look at the area, we only want half of the base. So this right here is half of the base. So we're going to go ahead and just plug in that 26 squared to 3 over 3, and we're going to um, plug it in for half base. So area is equal to... 26 square root of 3 over 3. All right, again, that's half the base, half the base. And then times the height, which is 26. And so uh, when we go ahead and find the area, now's the time for us to go to the calculator. So let me get to my calculator. Um, so we are going to do clear. We're going to do 26 times 26 times the square root of uh, 3 
and then divide by three. I did that wrong. Sorry, it's harder on the phone. So 26 times uh, 26 times the square root of three, and then we divide by three. There we go. Um, so we get uh, 390.2, and it said round to the nearest um, whole square meter. So the two tells the zero to stay the same. So our area is right about 390 meters squared.